What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. Got week 13. Atlanta Falcons versus the Arizona Cardinals, man. And let me tell you, this game right here, man, it gave me a sign of what it used to feel like playing with the Atlanta Falcons when this game first came out. I'm, I started to think that one of the updates had to fix because... All right, let me explain this for you. The offense of the Atlanta Falcons, when I first started this, did not score any points whenever you needed them. They always kicked the field goal, probably averaged about three field goals a game. If we do the Quincy Blitz and get the sack, almost knocked them back into the end zone. But the offense usually never scores. And lately, I started playing again after September. You know, I took that mean two-month break. Well, it wasn't really a break. I was like, well... You know what I'm saying. Well, I, I didn't play for like two months. I came back, updated Madden a couple times. And I realized the defense and the offense is playing better. So I'm like, maybe it was the update uh, update or something that, that made the, the sliders better or made people react better or something like that. So I wasn't sure, you know what I'm saying. But this game against the Arizona Cardinals, I started to do what I, what I, I did before in the older Maddens. I haven't done that before. Because I usually play the play the zones how they're supposed to be played. But that time, you saw me, I had the flat zone. And I went all the way back to the curls. And I kind of baited the quarterback to throw that little flat route just so I could come up and smack the receiver. And hopefully get a fumble. It used to work a whole lot in Madden 25 and Madden 13. But um, you can see I'm still doing my thing. Here. I blow up runs in the backfield. I hit people hard. And that's just, that's just what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's Quincy Blunt right there. But this game, we got another sack on the play. This game, man, the Falcons offense, nothing. They they couldn't do anything against this Cardinals defense. And I guess the Cardinals defense is I in real life. You know what I'm saying? It is nice. This like the Falcons. You know what I'm saying? The whole NFC South division is nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a close race. Whoever will get the playoffs with a below 500 record. But hopefully it is the Falcons, though. But... We coming in this game, man. Got the Quincy Blitz set up. They did a run play to the other side. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, we don't even need to be over there and we still stopping plays in the backfield. I'm starting to think that it's the 3-3-5 wide that's actually stopping the runs with the blitz angles and all that. But on this strange play right here, we get the sack. He fumbles on the sack. The lineman picks it up. And he fumbles. So we actually do get the ball back. And Quincy Blunt, man, falls for that play action. Could have been two points and the ball right there. Could have got the safety, but I I went away from the quarterback, man. I really thought the running back had the ball. I was like, why would they do a play action and they this close to the to the goal line, to the end zone? So, bad part on me. Could have had points on the board, and they do convert this first down in the second quarter. But it's still 0-0. Zero zero. This time, we I thought I had the interception. I was right in front of the ball. The ball went through my chest. He didn't even drop the ball. He caught it, got some yards. And we're usually tough at stopping these screens. But now they're trying to run it, get about three yards. And we've been stopping the run like crazy. This We stopped Daniel Taylor. Had about He was averaging about like 230 yards a game rushing. <laughs> he had like 50-something against us. And every other game, you can see that I'm playing with Quincy Blunt. I think it's a 3-3-5 three, three, wide that's stopping these runs, man. I, I might have to figure that out for some ranked matches. Along with the offense or something like that. And I might start playing those a lot again. But I tight mess up right here. I get I get too relaxed sometimes in these games. I just start wilding. I just start talking to people. And sometimes I just forget what I'm doing. But since I messed up, I'm going to mess their quarterback up. Hit him with the Quincy Blitz. Second and 17 now, man. We playing that deep pass coverage. And we don't care if he caught it short. Because we all know Quincy Blunt going to come up and make that tackle before he get to the first down. But they do call a timeout. Third and long. Third and seven. They do a screenplay to the wide receiver, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter if Quincy Blunt goes up the middle. It doesn't matter if he goes to the right and the ball goes to the left. Because this whole defense is tough. This time we bait the quarterback again, hoping for that fumble. But we don't get it, man. Quincy, he, he's happy about that. I'm sitting down, shaking his hands. And look at this, man. We fight off the block, and they beat me to it. They beat me to the run. Averaging negative yards rushing like come on now. We coming up Stopping him before the third down. I was real close right there fourth and inches comes up 
Larry Fitzgerald has been quiet this game. I haven't even seen him yet. And I ended up getting flipped with Quincy Blunt, but it don't matter because we got the sack anyway. Osa Yumi, yo, he's hyped up right now. And this whole game, we've been getting a whole bunch of sacks. Like, been stopping the Cardinals offense all game. And our offense couldn't do anything. You see, I got the flat right here. See, I'm, I'm type deep for a flat, but I knew nobody was over there. And the running back comes up, and he doesn't get the first down. So we get the offense, the ball again. Nothing happens. Zero points. This reminds me of what I, what I used to play like. Quincy Blunt, man, blowing up. And blowing up the run play in the backfield. Croy Beerman makes the tackle. And to the other side now, they come up. Stopping him in the backfield. That's OC Yomiuro on that side. They do the screen and it's covered. We get another sack. Corey Pierman, three sacks already in the fourth quarter. And we wild right now. Zero to zero. They do another play action. He breaks the sack this time. Quincy says, forget it. I'm going to go in. But luckily, luckily for them, man, they do end up completing the pass to Larry Fitzgerald. And I thought it was going to get picked off. But I thought we were going to get that first sack, but he ended up breaking the tackle. But they coming out running the ball, man. Quincy fighting off the blocks. Croy Beerman chasing the running back down. Second and six, they bring the same motion across. I'm thinking, yo, this better not be the same play. It was. Croy Beerman knew it as well. So he comes out and definitely stops the running back for no gain on the play. Third and six. Coming up. Playing the flats. I'm playing. I'm, I'm waiting. For him to catch that ball, he runs out of bounds. It's a smart move because if he didn't, he probably would have died on the field. You know what I'm saying? And somehow, they end up getting a false start on a field goal. Like, I guess, I don't know. They got false start, take them five yards back. They kick the field goal, and guess what? They end up missing it by it was just this much. Like, it was like at least... If they wouldn't have got that penalty, they probably would have made it. But they ended up missing it. But guess what again? The offense does not score. I, I don't understand, man. Matt Ryan. Maybe it's the Cardinals defense, man. They got Tyran, Matthew, and all of them. But I don't know. Not, can't get a field goal, though? Like, come on, now. It's fourth quarter, man. Ended up. We stopped them. Offense didn't score. So now we're in overtime. First play in overtime, we get the sack. Like, we've been doing all game. I told y'all, I will not believe this game, man. Zero to zero, going into overtime, man. Here we go. Got another pass play. Playing the deep as a second and 14. We drop him back. They getting people short of the first down. Only got four yards. And we ended up stopping them. The offense got the ball. Did not score. So now we in a bad predicament. All they need to do is get in field goal range. And luckily, that is not a completed pass. Because that would have put them in field goal range. So second and 10. They're close to midfield, man. We're on the logo right now, and we get another sack with Croy Beerman. Is that his fifth one of the game, man? Come on. How are you going to stop the sack? Like, this Cardinals O-line is garbage. We try to do the blitz, but Quincy sees the screen coming out, so we act like we're in man coverage. The screen is covered up. Got the stop. We got the ball back, and we are in field goal range. They do a couple of plays, and that is it, though. We get the W. Zero to three, we get the win in overtime. And that was our second possession in overtime. So the defense in this game has to be the greatest defense I ever saw played by, by both teams. Like zero to three, both offenses couldn't even score a touchdown this game, man. That is crazy, man. But you know what I'm saying? What what are you saying? When Quincy Bunn is on your defense, you you not gonna let up that much touchdowns. Larry Fitzgerald didn't even have that much catches this game. So you know the defense was kicking up. But wait, make sure you watch the next video, man. I'm trying to get these out a little bit faster. But, you know, Daniel Taylor got big news, man. He 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 been out here wildly. I saw him in the strip club before. And he's out here missing games. And this is a tight race for the playoffs. And he's missing games. See the stats right here, man. But he had 11 sacks. <laughs> this video is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.